Welcome to Scotsgay Live. We're here in the Assembly Gardens to interview some of the best LGBT acts and allies that we have here at Edinburgh Fringe 2019. We're delighted to be supported by Box Menswear alongside a partnership with Assembly and A Design. So, let's get to it. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> just, we're just going to linger for a second. You're not married, are you? Thank no. God. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to quickly just introduce yourself? Because I introduced you as the Noise Boys, but yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah, I'm Joel. I'm Roxanne. Uh, and I'm Matt. And tell me um, a bit about the show, Rox. Okay, so the show is about ordinary people with extraordinary talents. Basically, me and the boys, we all work in a distributing warehouse. And when we're downstairs, it's great. But when we're upstairs, it's very colourful. And we have fun and we show each other our talents. And you're like the ringleader, aren't you? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. I would have said narrator. But yeah, ringleader sounds better. <laughs> These are my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it and it's, and it's almost like a battle between tap dancers and beatboxers. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Do we have one of each here? Yeah. Tapper and beatboxer. And Joel, you're a, you're a beatboxer. What got you into beatboxing? Um, well, I was about 11 when I started. I actually watched a YouTube video that inspired me, so yeah. And, and when did you realise you had a talented mouth? A talented mouth. Um, I suppose 11 years old, so maybe it's not the best joke to make, really. <laughs> He's been in for a long time. And you've been beatboxing since 11. Other than this show, what, have you done anything else with your extraordinary talent? Um, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm in a duo called Jack and Joel and we competed on the X Factor two years ago and got to the live finals. So. Congratulations. Thank so, you very much. So what's Edinburgh like for you, given you've had the high life of TV? Um, no, spectacular. This is where it's out at. Yeah, I used to be in um, a group, uh, an a cappella group that performed here at the Fringe as well. So I, I love it here. And what about you, Tris? <laughs> Your first time in Edinburgh, or yeah, this is my first time in Edinburgh and at Fringe. Yeah, yeah, same. You? First time, yeah. first time. It's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Cool. Not you. enough gay clubs. I haven't found any, but I'm having fun. Well, no gay women yes. clubs. So, so where are you from, Rocks? Me, um, I'm born in Birmingham, but I live in London. You live in London, so there's plenty to do in London, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Oh, LGBT people in London is, uh, I don't want to cancel anywhere else, but they're really thriving. It's nice because everybody's coming together, you know, and everyone's helping build the scene, I guess, or create a scene for us. Great. So, Joel, going back to beatboxing just slightly, because I think that our viewers would really like to hear some beatboxing. Oh. If you wouldn't mind, you know, just yeah. sharing your talent with us. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, thank, thank you. I need to watch that YouTube video that you watched when you were 11. <laughs> I can sort of go, and then I'm done. Wow. I don't have as talented a mouth as you, Joel. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. So the Edinburgh Fringe, obviously, is the biggest arts festival. We're here in Assembly Gardens right now. What is the what's what's brought you to Edinburgh, and what is the importance of the Noise Boys being in Edinburgh this year? Oh, anyone? One. What's the importance? Because we're here to make. You know, I was going to say noise. Yeah, 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 we're here to show talents. I think there's not been anything like this at the, um, the Edinburgh Fringe. You know, you've got me, the rapping narrator. You've got four amazing tap dancers, different styles in the in the show. And we've got the two worlds, I'll say that, world's best beatboxers. They go from dubstep to hip hop to drum and bass to you name it, we've got it in the show. And the tap dancers dance to it and the beatboxers make it. Yeah. And it's a family show as well, isn't it? Family show, all ages, Definitely. all warps of life. We do not discriminate. Yeah. I saw a quick clip of it during the assembly press launch, and I was amazed by the the difference between the tap dancers and the beatboxers and the real battle that takes place on stage almost. So yeah. really ex an exciting show. If you were selling the show to someone that didn't have any idea about it, what would you what would you say? Ooh. Okay, we've all got to say something because I don't want right. to be left to, okay. at the front front. I would say, guys, you have to come and watch The Noise Boys. It's the most fantastic show you've ever seen in your life. 
Okay, sorry, I'm a bit scared of the wasp. No, that's all right. Um, well, I I have to say that I've had um, we go out at the end of the show and talk to some of the audience members, and I've had little little boys and little girls coming out saying that tap dancing is the coolest thing ever, and they all want to sign up to do it, which I think is extraordinary. So yeah, Matt. I mean, they've said everything, but um, <laughs> I'm just going to say it's an explosion of mad creativity and talent, and there's also a bit of meaning behind uh, the story as well. So. Come see us, I guess. Yeah. That really wasn't the best link into what I was going to say next because you talked about meaning behind the story and I was just going to talk about abs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I've heard there's very good looking boys in the show. Aside they from all are. They I all think, are. Yeah, we're all, They're all we're beautiful. All gorgeous boys. <laughs> <laughs> Not an ego amongst them. <laughs> Not an ego. <laughs> So, Rox, I just wanted to touch yeah. back on sort of LGBT life for you okay. growing up. We talked to, to some other acts um, because obviously our viewers for, for Scots Gay are all, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, not all LGBT people, but, you know, it's, it's, that's, it's that's in the main. Yeah. Um, what was it like growing up in Birmingham as, yeah. as a young LGBT you know person? What? It's crazy. I never knew or I never explored my LGBT recurringness until I was in London. I don't know if it was just kind of what I was used to. I didn't feel suppressed. I just was used to, you know, going to school. I went to a girls' school, never had a girlfriend, never felt or even thought about it. I think I was just in an environment where not that it wasn't accepted, but it wasn't around, so I didn't feel. And all the artists that I looked up to, from your Missy Elliott's to your Queen Latifah's, they were all in the closet. You know, you would hear stuff, but there was no one that's actually proud to be gay. I moved to London, realised that everybody lives there, what, whatever goes, and I kind of found, started to unreal and, I guess, peel back my layers of myself and find myself. But since I've gone back to Birmingham, all I've got is love. I've always owned who I am. So when you own it, people can't really um, discriminate or you know criticize now there's over 200 queer performances oh, wow. at the fringe and I'm sure way more queer artists really I did not know this yeah what is it like being a queer artist at the world's biggest arts festival wow do you know um, I went to see a show yesterday I've seen one queer show and to be honest it's quite lonely I don't know if I'm going to the wrong places or I'm following the straight boys but I'm not really seeing a lot of people that are like me so um, I feel like I stand out, but I feel all love at the same time. It's not like at all. It's like, hey, you're gay, yeah, kind of thing. And if you could give a message to younger queer people that are maybe exploring their sexuality yeah. for the first time, what would it be? Oh, my would be stay real to yourself. Don't jump the gun. Don't take time to unravel and again, peel yourself, peel each layer back. Don't jump into it. Don't you might scared, get scared, yeah, and, but at the same time, don't be scared to be yourself. Talk to people that you love. Have someone that you can confine in, I would say. Don't keep it all bottled in. Thanks. Have you got anything else you want to add about the show or your experience at the Fringe? Anything to add about the show? The food is amazing. I'm definitely putting on two stone. The drinks are flowing. And yeah, it's, it's good. It's bouncing. It's popping off. And the weather's stayed dry for us today, which is, which is nice. Even yeah, though we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're covered. What, what's your experience? Because I, I know you've, I've seen you all out flyering for the show. Yeah. What's your experience of flyering in the rain? Mine isn't very good. I get really scared to approach people. Yeah, I'm honest. still yet to buy my raincoat that I said I'd buy on the first day. You mean you came to Edinburgh without a raincoat? I did come to Edinburgh without a raincoat. Ooh. I was very aware of the mistake, but I haven't rectified it yet. How about you flowering? Uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't flowering today. Oh, okay, it wasn't. <laughs> but it gets, it. it gets it Some out people, there. Yes. It gets it out there. Yeah, it gets it out there. Yeah. Is, is there other shows that you've seen, um, just a, a fi final message, yeah. is there any shows that, other than Noise Boys, that you'd like people to go and see? Bromance. Bromance is sick. Bromance is sick. I've seen My World, I was blown away, and Pink Lemonade, especially the LGBTs. Out of the blue definitely out of the blue. Go see it. Great, thanks. Well, everyone, put your hands together for the Noise Boys! Thank you. <laughs>